Google just released a new AI image generator called Nano Banana. This is one of those oh sh moments in AI. And naturally, most people's first thoughts were, how does this compare to ChatGPT's image generation? Well, in this video, I put them side by side so you can see for yourself which is better. And I'll break down the key differences in this video. So let's get into it. All right, so here we go. Left-hand side, we have ChatGPT 5. Left-hand side, we have Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is also known as the Nano Banana image generation tool that literally just released today. So I'm happy I could showcase this right when it comes out. So my first test, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some images and I'm basically gonna show the power of the new Nano Banana from Google and why it's different from ChatGPT. So first things first that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically give this image of myself. I'm actually holding a Coke here. I was on vacation. This is from a film camera. What I wanna do here is I'm actually gonna try to recreate this exact same image, but I'm trying to make it so I'm holding a Diet Pepsi can instead of Diet Coke. So I'm uploading this to ChatGPT and I'm also gonna upload this to Gemini. I'm gonna give the exact same prompts and we're gonna see the key differences here. So I'm gonna come over to ChatGPT and say, take this exact image of me holding this Diet Coke can, but replace it with Diet Pepsi. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy that same exact prompt over to Gemini, send that off to both of them and let's watch both of these do their thing. So in real time, I'm not gonna cut this. Let's see which one of these is quicker. So. Looks like on the left-hand side, ChatGPT is generating it. Boom, just like that. It took about five seconds for the new Gemini model to actually create this and look at that. It's the exact same image as a previous image, but I'm holding a Diet Coke can and it looks like ChatGPT just started generating this image. So this is by far faster than ChatGPT when it comes to image generation. Let's also see if this is even able to generate this with ChatGPT. So let me also put these side by side. So let me download the new file. And here we go. You can see on the right-hand side, we have our original image of me holding a Diet Coke. The left-hand side is me holding a Diet Pepsi. Exact same image. You can see all the details look exactly the same. And this is what Gemini and the new Nano Banana image generation tool is extremely good at. It's really good at character consistency, which this is the first we've seen from any of these image generation models. It's been about two and a half minutes and we're still getting this image generated from ChatGPT. It's still working on this. And after about three minutes, ChatGPT told me I couldn't generate the edit because the request violates our content policies, which it seems pretty interesting to me. That sucks, the fact that it wasn't able to do that. So now let's move on to another use case. All right, so for this next use case, I'm gonna use this image of LeBron James wearing a Lakers jersey and I'm basically gonna make some edits to this exact image. So let's see which will do better at this. All right, here's a prompt I'm gonna give to both of these. Take this exact image of LeBron, but make the jersey the yellow Lakers jersey. Instead of it being this white jersey, I want it to be actually this yellow jersey here, the yellow Lakers jersey. Let's see if it's able to do this. This is gonna highlight one of the key features inside of the new Nano Banana image generator tool inside of Google or inside of Gemini. I'm gonna send this off to both of them. So looks like ChatGPT can't even generate this because it's violating the content policies. Again, that's unfortunate. And then on the right-hand side, we have this exact same image of LeBron. Instead, he is now wearing the yellow Lakers jersey. I didn't even have to explain what the yellow Laker jersey looks like because it has context. It's context aware since it is using Gemini. It basically knows from its training the yellow Lakers jersey looks like this and I didn't even have to explain it or provide an image of it for it to be able to create and edit this image. All right, so for fun inside of Gemini, I basically said I want you to show a different angle of this same image and you can see it generated this right here. This basically looks like it could be in another angle of this exact image here. However, it's from LeBron on the side. He's wearing the same shoes. He's wearing that yellow Lakers jersey. He's not wearing this black leg sleeve, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually add that black leg sleeve here. So add the same black leg sleeve. And then again, Gemini in seconds, I mean like five, 10 seconds less than that will generate this for me. All right. I didn't understand that I only wanted one of these generated. All right. Next test here. I basically have two images here. I have one of a model and then I have one of this guy or actually have one of a blue suit. And this, the simple prompt I'm giving it is take this model model and make it so he is wearing this suit. I'm going to send this off to both of these. Hopefully ChatGPT doesn't say it's not able to do it this time. All right. So I guess history does repeat itself because ChatGPT image generation took about three minutes just to generate this image. It's not even the same model. And then Gemini generated this image here. It's the exact same model. Let me show you a before and after. So it's the exact same model. Instead, he's not wearing this white shirt. He's wearing this blue suit that we actually told it to actually, you know, add to this model. So that is phenomenal. I'm really 
really stoked with this output from Gemini. However, the ChatGPT output is pretty comical because it did not get the model right whatsoever. All right, so now that I did side-by-side -side comparison between these two, let's now talk about why the Nano Banana model is so different. And believe me, this is a really important part, so make sure you stay to the end of this video. So I actually just had a quick idea and I realized that I could, be, I could actually build my own app with Google Opal in order for me to use the new Nano Banana image generator super easily. So watch as I actually build this entire app. So I'm gonna click on, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to Google Opal, I'm gonna click on create new and it's super simple to build an app. I'm literally gonna say, let's build an app where the user can upload an image of certain type of clothing and then also upload an image of a model and then create an image of that model wearing that clothing. Make sure to use the Gemini 2.5 flash image generation model. I'm literally gonna give it that prompt and in seconds, it's gonna build me an entire workflow and build me a user interface in the form of an app where I can do this now. So as you can see, this almost looks like any to or something. It's a workflow. I don't need to go through all of these, but essentially it will now work now. So what I can do is I can click on preview. Next thing you know, we have this cool little app here. First, I need to upload an image of some clothes. Let's just take this waffle shirt here. I'm gonna take a screenshot quickly. I'm gonna upload it to our app. And then I'm gonna take this image of myself, click send. And now it should be using this image generation model to do this. This is a really easy way to build an app, but this is a first look at how transformative this nano banana image generation model can be when we use it inside of our own applications, if that makes sense. I could think of countless amounts of ways right now that an e-commerce company would actually do this. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, here I am actually wearing this shirt here. I could even go ahead and share this app and anybody with a link to it can then use it. All right, here's my last example. And then I'm gonna discuss what's so different about this. As you can see, I actually uploaded this image of a balloon next to a cactus. And the prompt was inside this balloon is a gender reveal. I want you to generate an image of what you think might happen next. And as you could see, it shows blue because it's for a gender reveal, meaning that it's a boy. If it's pink, it means it's for a girl. And in this case, you could see that the balloon actually popped. There's something important to note here though, because I didn't actually instruct the Gemini to make the balloon pop. Basically, it was just able to understand that if a cactus and a balloon are next to each other, odds are that the balloon's gonna pop. And this is kind of like a perfect example of what's so game-changing about this new nano banana feature. It's much smarter than something like ChatGPT image generation. The fact that it's able to actually foresee, oh, this might happen, so let me generate an image. It's like predictive imaging, if that makes sense, almost like how ChatGPT and large language models are like predictive text. So that's something to think about. It's kind of throwing my mind for a loop, but guys, there you have it. There's ChatGPT image generation versus Gemini's new nano banana feature, which is actually called Gemini 2.5 flash image generation. All right, now let's chat about what actually makes this different. All right, so here's the official release page from Google, Gemini 2.5 flash image, our state of the art image model. So here are the things that are different. So I'm not gonna look at the benchmark. Instead, I'm gonna look at actually the actual tangible thing. So the first thing is that it can maintain character consistency, which is really something that we've been lacking in other models like ChatGPT image generation, like we've seen in this video. Next up, we actually have prompt based image editing, which is a complete game changer because this is basically allowing anybody to have access to something like Photoshop based on just writing out text prompts and uploading an image. We can make edits to our images now instead of having to go to a designer or somebody that knows how to use Photoshop. Next, we have native world knowledge. Think of it this way. Gemini is trained on all of this information. And now inside of this image generation model, it's able to actually understand and predict things. That's exactly why in that last demonstration, it was able to basically understand understand that that balloon's probably gonna pop if it hits the cactus. And this is a gender reveal. And I didn't specify what a gender reveal is. It just knew that it will show either blue or pink colors because it's a gender reveal. And then lastly, we have multi-image fusion, which basically allows us to, you know, upload a product and then embed that into an actual image here. So as you can see for this use case, it shows that you're able to actually take an image of a lamp and upload it into the scene here without changing anything else about that image. All right, guys, there we have it. That is ChatGPT image generation versus the brand new Google Nano Banana released literally today. If you got some value from this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment what you thought of it. I appreciate you for staying to the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.